Today, we're going to explore the procedure report within the data sources capability of Atlas. From the Atlas homepage, we can go to data sources. And from the data sources uh, list, we can select the source of data that we want to explore, as well as the report that we would like to uh, explore. Here, we're selecting the procedure report. Once we select the procedure report, we are brought to a tree map representation of the prevalence of all concepts in the procedure domain with inside the OMOP common data model. Each of these boxes represents the concept prevalence. The size of the box is the concept prevalence and the color of the box represents the intensity of those particular concepts. A tabular display of this information is also available under the table tab. If I select that tab, we see a line listing that represents each concept ID its name, and then the number of persons who have had that concept, that concept prevalence, and the records per person. This shows 27,000 different concepts within this particular source. This table can be sorted or searched and filtered for any information. If I select any row in this table, we can drill down to find further information about that concept. Here, for example, if I select the concept of radiologic exam, chest, two views, frontal and lateral, we can see that there are 13, over 13 million patients and 16% of this data source that have that particular concept. And on average, those that have a radiologic exam of the chest have that concept 2.3 times. If I scroll down, we can gain additional information about how this concept plays out in this data source. The first graph shows the concept prevalence. This information is stratified by year, age, and gender. So each graph shows in, uh, index year on the x-axis. It is trellised by age deciles, and the gender is represented by the line series with blue indicating males and pink indicating females. The y-axis of each of these plots shows the concept prevalence per thousand persons. So here we can see for the concept of radiologic exam of the chest, we can see that this concept appears in the data from the years 2000 through 2017. It appears that chest uh, radiologic exams occur more in older individuals than younger individuals, occur slightly more in women ver uh, relative to men, uh, and seem to have had uh, a slight increase in the year 2009. The next graph down shows the prevalence of this concept by month. Uh, here, the x-axis represents the uh, calendar month, and the y-axis represents the concept prevalence per thousand persons. Here, we can see a seasonal pattern in when chest radiologic exams occurring in the winter of each year. The next graph shown is the type concept ID. This identifies where the provenance of the data is for this given source. And here we can see that radiologic exams are occurring in both inpatient and outpatient uh, claims records for this particular data source. And if we hover over any uh, element within this donut plot, we can see the proportion of where this record appears. In this particular source, we can see that the prevalence of this concept appears most commonly in the outpatient record in the fourth position, representing 89% of the data records. The next graph shows you the age at the first occurrence of one of these concepts. It is stratified by gender, uh, and we show age as on the y-axis. So here, if I hover over any of these box plots, we can see a distribution uh, of the values here indicating that the median age of people at the first time that they've had their chest x-ray is 50. And then finally, the graph below shows us a cumulative frequency distribution representing the number of occurrences of a particular concept for given individuals. So here, whereas 16% of the people had at least one occurrence of a chest x-ray, we can see that 8% of these people had two or more, all the way down to some individuals having uh, seven or eight uh, chest x-rays within the data. This drill down information is available for all particular concepts within the procedure domain 
in the top right filter if I'm interested in searching for any particular concept, such as coronary artery bypass. I can type in that word, and the set of concepts will be filtered to those that uh, meet that string search. Here I can see coronary artery bypass has occurred in 140,000 individuals in this database. Selecting that concept allows me to drill down to information to further explore the prevalence of that concept by year, age, gender, by month, by provenance of data, and by age. This includes our summary of the procedure report. For more information about the data source's capability, Atlas as a whole, or anything about the entire Odyssey community, uh, check us out at odyssey.org.